Good Thursday, everyone. I'm meteorologist Mike Ottenweller at the National Weather Service with Alaska Statewide Weather. Our area of low pressure that's been bringing wet weather to the western portion of the state continues to sit over Bristol Bay at 1,005 millibars, and this is allowing a flood advisory to remain in effect until 4.45 p.m. on Friday, mainly for small streams in the Upper Kobuk, the Noatak, and the Koyukuk River basins. So for anyone venturing out there, hunters especially, please be as advised that the, uh, the rivers could rise rather quickly and reach bank full and flood over in certain portions of those areas. For the uh, Denali area, we still continue to have strong southerly winds with a tight pressure gradient, so we have a wind advisory in effect until 12 p.m. along the Alaska Range. Denali, Healy, and the West Pass is near the tote cutoff with south winds gust to 60, and again, that's in effect until 12 p.m. Saturday. Rain will slowly spread across southern Alaska and start to reach towards Yakutat and southeast Alaska as we go through the overnight hours. And that rain along the west coast should start to taper off to more showery conditions tonight, but it will continue along the Brooks Range and the Arctic coast. Out over the Bering Sea, that's where our eyes are going to shift to as we go through the next 24 hours. A strong system will start to develop tonight out there at 979 millibars and bringing strong winds and building seas and some moderate rainfall to the Aleutian chain and eventually to the Pribilof Island. And on the back side of that, some colder air working in, possibly bringing some snow showers to the western Bering. As we get into Friday, that area of low pressure out over the Bering Sea is down to 969 millibars just east of the Pribilof Islands. Therefore, a high wind watch uh, will be in effect for that area on Friday and into Saturday as we expect some gusts possibly as high as 80 miles per hour. And those winds will work their way down into the marine waters near the north side of the Akpen and near Dutch Harbor. So be advised if you're a mariner out in those areas that this is a, a strong strong fall storm and take the proper precautions. As we look towards southern Alaska, we do still see light rainfall along the North Gulf Coast and that will continue to spread towards southeast Alaska, mostly light in nature, especially as you move inland, but the coastal areas will remain wet. On Saturday, we start to see a drying trend finally for much of the interior and northern portions of the state, especially up over the Brooks Range. Things should be drying out for a day of reprieve, and uh, we see those uh, flood advisories come down by Saturday. We do still have that area of low pressure at 978 millibars now into the Bristol Bay area, and that will continue to bring gusty winds, especially on the south side of the Akpen now on Saturday for the Mariners through the Bays and Passes. With Alaska Statewide Weather, I'm meteorologist Mike Ottenweller.